Kia ora tifano, nō mai hoki mai. Now, if you don't know what Tangem is, uh, and you're new to crypto, then watch that video first. Uh, and in my quote, I say, this is the Swiss army knife of crypto wallets. This has also been quoted on the Tangem website here. And it is a statement that I firmly believe in. I've been using Tangem for the last six months and it is the only hardware wallet that I use now. And I have wallets for my profile, for my family, and just for everyday use. And each one of these cards represents three cards. So I have a lot. Now, one of the unique features of Tangem is when you activate the cards, it actually generates the seed phrase on the cards. So essentially every card is a backup of your seed phrase and they should be stored separately. This ensures that you'll never lose it and no one can steal it from you. However, the one caveat is because you do not have access to your seed phrase, in the likely event that you lose all three cards, then you would also lose all your crypto. Now, personally, I believe that if you can't store the cards in safe locations and you lose all three, then you'll most likely do worse having access to your seed phrase. But Tangem is a company that listens to their customers. Now, there have been many comments about this. The, you know, the most common one is not your keys, not your crypto which suggests that if you don't have your seed phrase, then you don't have complete control over your assets. Now, Tangem took this into consideration and now there is 2.0. Pretty sleek design, that's for sure. Actually, beautiful looking cards compared to, you know, the first version. Before we take a look at 2.0, why is Tangem the best hardware wallet on planet Earth? Well, that's easy. Setup time for a new user is only three to five minutes. Now, for example, Ledger will take hours to set up. No private keys to deal with, always hidden. During the activation process, the card's embedded chip generates a random private key, ensuring that the wallet cannot be compromised. Now this is vital. However, 2.0 is gonna give you the option for the seed phrase. Now also, the ease of use. There isn't anything easier to use in Tangem. Also, no Bluetooth needed. EL6, which is the highest level of security testing. Now, this comes with a unique NFC chip made by Samsung. Now this is used by NASA and the US Air Force. This is used for their access to their bases. Once molded to the card, there is no way to update or change firmware. It is unhackable. Oh, and by the way, they did a flipper test, which is actually a device uh, that can read and emulate NFC and RFID chips, and it could not emulate the tangent. It also has got three factor authentication, so biometric, then there's the access code, and then also the card confirmation. Now, Tangem is also open source, so it means that if anything ever happened to the company, you can just download the APK and just install it on your phone and everything will work fine. Okay, and it's also been audited by uh, Kudalski uh, Security, so you know this is another peace of mind. Okay, so Tangem 2.0, now I just got my hands on this, so I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Now, no unboxing, boring video, let's get straight to the meat and potatoes. So the differences between 1.0 and 2.0 are obviously the look. Uh, but more importantly, uh, you can have access to your seed phrase on 2.0. Now, in 1.0, you could reset the pin if you have two cards together. Uh, obviously not these two, but two of the same card together. Now, in 2.0, this has been changed, which I will show you. So let's look at the setup for Tangem 2.0. Now, this is my first time doing this for 2.0, so let's do it together. Okay, so I've got the uh, little card here, which has got the scan QR code. Uh, so I've got my phone uh, and I'm just going to click on the, I've already had that open, I'm going to click on the scan QR code, got that. Okay, now I'm going to click on that link and it's going to take me to the app store, obviously. Okay, install Tangem, so we'll install that. Okay, that's installed, let's open it up. Okay, so down here on the bottom, it's the same as the 1.0 setup, uh, scan card. Okay, so we're going to click on scan card, okay, tap to scan. So just I'm just picking one of the three, so I don't even know what card it is. All right, we're gonna put that up by the phone. Success, terms of service, accept. Okay, generate keys privately. Your keys will be secured, generated inside the card. There is no seed phrase, which means nobody can export or steal it. Okay, now see here it's got other options. So create while it's got other options. So let's click on that and see what that has. Okay, so here we go. Use seed phrase. A seed phrase is a series of words that allows you to recover your wallet, unlike the keys generated by the card. Seed phrases are unprotected and can be copied and stolen. Use this option at your own risk. So now we can either generate a seed phrase here, or we can import 
a wallet. Okay, so for example, if you've got a MetaMask wallet, right, and you've got the seed phrase for that, and you want to import that wallet, you might have a lot of, you know, uh, tokens on there that you want to actually bring into Tangem. Uh, and th look, it can be a seed phrase from anything, all right? So import wallet, if we click on import wallet, okay, to import your wallet, enter the seed phrase in the field below. Okay, so I've got to click in there, and then I'd need to paste that in there, okay? So I'm actually not going to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, all right, and I'm going to generate seed phrase, all right? So I'm going to have to blank this out, obviously, because this is a new card, but I'm going to click on generate seed phrase. Okay, now write these 12 words down in order uh, given below and store them in a safe and secure secret place. Now, look, I'm going to tell you something about this. This is vital. If you're new to crypto, uh, this here is your keys to the kingdom. You need to safeguard these like you're going to safeguard your life. All right, so make sure that you write these down in a book uh, and put them safely. I've got another video on uh, you know how to do this and store them, but for now, write them down in a book and put that book in a safe. Actually, do multiple copies and put one in a safe and one somewhere else in your grandma's cookie jar. All right, but make sure that you write these down and they have to be in order. All right, number one, number two, write them in order because if you ever have to restore the device with a seed phrase, if they're not in order, it won't work. Okay. So I'm going to write these down and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so I've, writ I've written those down and hopefully you have too. Uh, and now I'm going to click on continue. All right, so now we have to actually input those words. Uh, so number two, you'll have to obviously input the second word that was in the seed phrase, number seven and 11. Okay, so I'm going to quickly do that. Okay, so hopefully these are in the right order. I'm going to click on create wallet. Okay, now we're going to need the card. Now, notice that it's got the uh, number here. It says AFO, and then at the end it's 9085. So I've got to look on the back of the card. If you uh, have a look, you'll actually see the numbers. Okay, so this is this is the same as setting at 1.0. So I'm just going to try and find the right one. Okay, okay. so we're going to tap that up here. So this setup is actually the same as 1.0, this part of it. Okay, right, now, back up now. So when you back up, this is going to use the other two cards. Okay, this is going to bind the seed phrase and everything to the three cards. So I'm going to click on back up now, add backup card. Okay, so I'm going to grab another one of these cards. All right, and I'm going to put that there. Success, okay. So that's the second card. I'm going to add a, another backup card because I've got, this is the three pack. Okay, so I've got the third card now. All right, I'm going to put that there. Okay, so now all three are done. And now finalize the backup. Okay, create access code. Now this is important because this is part of the 3FA. So you have the, uh, you can use, uh, you know, your thumbprint biometrics, you can use the access code, and also when you go to do any transactions, you also need the card to confirm. So it's a, a 3FA, all right, essentially. So I'm going to click on continue. Okay, and I'm going to create my S, my uh, code here. Click on continue. Put it in there again to confirm it. And then submit. Okay, primary card. So now we need to set, it says here, prepare the primary card with number N085, uh, 9085. Okay, so scan primary card. So you have to look on the back of your card. So I'm going to click on scan the primary card. Okay, and I'm going to put that one up there. Okay, long tap. You just got to hold it there, hold it, don't move it away. Wait until it goes right through. Okay, prepare the backup card with number 1256. So this is just confirming everything. Okay, here's the second card. Scan the card. I've got the right number, 1256 on the back. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, this is the second one. Now we're just going to do the third one. Okay, scan the card. All right, it's the last one here. Okay, success. All right, so that's done. All right, so continue to my wallet. Click on that. Use biometrics, yes. Allow biometrics. Okay, which is good. So now I've got the 3FA and everything's ready to go. Okay, so let's have a look at the access code function. Now, 
In 1.0, if you, uh, if somebody was to get two of your cards, they could actually reset your access code. Now, not that I'm saying that that could happen because if you've successfully uh, stored your three cards in different locations, that wouldn't happen, but it could. Okay, so now with 2.0, uh, I'm going to show you something that's really cool. Now, the way that this works is that if you, you you can disable two of the cards, right? Now, you actually need two cards together. Even with 2.0, you need two cards together. So somebody would have to take two of your cards to be able to change your access code, okay? Now, if you've got three cards, now you've got the option to disable two cards that means there is actually no way to change your access code. So if somebody even stole all three of your cards, right, they can't change the access code because there is only one card left that is enabled. And the only way that you could change the access code is if you know the access code to be able to enable another card so that you'd have two to change the access code. So in other words, you can disable two of the cards. So let me show you. Uh, I'm going to come up to the three dots on the top right. Okay, and then click on card settings. And then scan card. Okay. And we've just got bio. Okay, I'm going to scan this card. Okay, now here you can see access code recovery. Okay, and see how I've disabled this. All right, now if I click on that, you can see by default they're enabled. So I've disabled this. All right, so that's on this card. So if I come back to card settings, then I scan card and then I select a different card. Okay, bio. Okay, now I'm going to scan the second card. Okay, you'll see that this one is disabled as well. Okay. Now, if I come to the third card, so I'll come back, click on card settings, all right, click on scan card, and then just bio, and then I've actually disabled this one too, I think. I've actually disabled all three. Yeah, this one's disabled as well. Okay, so. But it doesn't matter because you can actually leave one enabled, all right? Because, like I said, if somebody was to steal these cards, if one's en enabled, it doesn't matter. Because someone needs two to be able to actually change your access code. And if you've disabled two of the cards, there's just no way of doing it. It's an impossibility. So I can actually enable this one, um, but I'm not going to. Actually, I will. I'll just click on Enable. Okay. Save changes. Unlock it. Okay, scan the card. Yeah. Okay, so now you can see it says enabled. All right, if I click on it, it says enabled. All right, you can see here it allows you to use this card to reset access code on other cards in this wallet. Well, that's actually not true unless you actually have two enabled. All right, so, uh, you know, this is a great feature because it basically means that if you disable two of the cards it means that no one can change the access code regardless of even if they steal all three okay so it's a perfect scenario because you know you could if, if you were able to still do this with two cards if you were traveling and you took you know two cards with you and somebody you know stopped you it could have been, you know, it could be at customs or whatever, and they grabbed two of your cards, they could change your access code. I also look at it like this as well, though, but you do have three FAs. So, like, you know, you still need, if you've got biometrics on your phone and you've enabled that, they still have to get past that too before they can even get to changing your access code. But this new feature on 2.0, this new feature alone, all right, gives you peace of mind with security 100% as well, that no one can change your access code. All you've got to do is disable this. But just remember... Just remember that if you uh, 
if you disable two of these cards, all right, and you forget your access code, you will not be able to enable one of these cards because you need your access code to be able to enable one of these cards again. So please, please, if you do disable two of these cards, make sure that you 100% know the access code to get in this because if you don't and you lose the access code, you're stuffed, all right? And there's nothing you can do about it, all right? Now, one of the other things that I thought was quite cool is the factory settings. Uh, now, I'm going to talk about this in another video. I'm going to uh, do another video that's going to be a lot more technical uh, on a lot more things that can be done with this. It's really cool. So, but for now, that was the access code. So just be rest assured that, you know, that's a new uh, safety feature. That's great. 2.0 is awesome because now, you know, with just remember with the um, seed phrase, as per normal, uh, you can just install Tangem as per normal and it will just have the seed phrase built on the card. Or you can generate the seed phrase like I showed it earlier in the video, you can generate the seed phrase um, or you can import your own seed phrase, okay? So those two features alone uh, make this, you know, perfectly worth it. Now, if you haven't seen the, the last video, the first video I did on this, uh, I actually approached them, uh, Tangem. They never approached me, I approached them. They gave me a, a really good deal with a discount code for, for anyone that wants to get the card. Uh, to get the card, you'll get 10% off, okay? So just use better humans the Z. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and yeah, look, beautiful, sleek looking card. Uh, and just with those two features alone, uh, you know, that's, to me, that's worth its weight in gold. Okay. Have yourself an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Kia kaha.